Hey there. We're going to take a look at a chemical reaction and some of the properties that may take place during a chemical reaction. So, some of the properties during a chemical reaction include uh, change in temperature or uh, some type of heat or lack of heat. There could be an emission of light. Gas could possibly be released or in the form of bubbles, some bubbling taking place, even color. Now the only for sure way to tell if it's a chemical reaction is if the actual molecules change from one component to another component, um, completely different. So for this experiment, you're going to need a graduated cylinder, 40 milliliters of water, five milliliters or one teaspoon of phenol red, you will need 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon of calcium chloride and 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is pour the water into the bag. 40 milliliters, make sure you're precise with your measurements. I'm pouring the water into my first Ziploc baggie. Any changes taking place? Shouldn't be. All right? Now the water molecules, if you look at this picture here, could look something like this. There are the uh, black molecules here. H2O, two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. When I mix in the phenol red, which is the second step of my experiment, I'm going to see how it changes and see if I notice any types of chemical reactions or signs of chemical reactions taking place. So I'm mixing that in. There is definitely a change in color. There doesn't appear to be any type of fizzing going on. The water still feels about the same as it did before, the temperature. Um, I don't see again any bubbles and if I shut the lights off there, there's not any light emission. So this is likely just a change, a physical change. Um, so if we imagine that these molecules are the phenol red, you'll notice they're just kind of mixed in with the water. They're not actually attached to the water. The water molecules are still intact with the phenol red molecules. Alright, now my next step is to add in my calcium chloride. So I'm getting ready to add five milliliters or one teaspoon of calcium chloride. Simply dumping one Ziploc bag into the other. Now, as I'm mixing this back and forth, you can notice that uh, the phenol red, or the red color of the water in the phenol red mixture, is seeming to change into a bright pink color. As I'm feeling it, I notice that it's a little bit warm to the touch. So there must be, or is likely, some type of chemical reaction taking place that's giving off heat and causing this substance to change in color some signs of a chemical reaction. Now, once all of the calcium chloride is fully dissolved in your substance or solution, has reacted with the phenol red, then we can move on to the next step. Make sure you're recording your observations, the heat and the change in color that you noticed. Next step is to add the 5 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate and see how this or what will happen when this is added to our substance. You can notice that there is a change in color. It also appears to be bubbling and if you listen very carefully you can even hear some sizzling taking place. Um, the pla plastic bag is actually filling up with some type of gas molecule. So what is taking place here? 
I'm noticing that it's also a, a little bit cooler in temperature. When we start adding in molecules that cause this chemical reaction to occur, or either of the chemical reactions, they may actually be attaching onto one of the uh, hydrogen molecules of the water and releasing the other hydrogen molecule, um, which means that the water is completely changing. The molecule, the molecular structure is now entirely different. And it may even react with the phenol red and the water molecules. And that gas that's being released is simply a byproduct of the chemical reaction. So the molecular structure has completely changed throughout this experiment and leaving us with some sure signs like this Ziploc bag that is about to pop. Well, I hope that helped you out. See ya!